Hi everyone, welcome to questions on KC. First question we have here is asking us to write an expression for equilibrium constant KC from the equilibrium 4.1 that is above. So when it comes to writing an expression for KC, we need to have square brackets are very important and making sure we have the products on the top, reactants on the bottom. So the products divided by the reactants in a sense, everything in its square brackets and then making sure we have the correct powers. So in this instance, we'd have a square bracket around the NO, and it'd be the power of four. Ox uh, water, sorry, would be square bracket, the power of six. And then divided by our reactants, NH3 would be in a square bracket with the power of four, then oxygen in a square bracket, the power of five. Making sure we have those state symbols in there as well, but that's what we need to get for that first map there. Second question, so quite a lot of information here, titrating samples and trying to work out um, the concentration, looking at trying to calculate Kc, which reason could be explained why the calculated values for Kc were different? Now if we're looking at these statements here, 1, 2 and 3, now 2 and 3 are just will, will result in different calculations, you'll just be chasing up the number of moles, but you should still then get the same value for Kc, even if you change it to different concentrations or volumes that would affect Kc, but you just work at a slightly different scale. Whereas different temperature, that is actually a factor that affects Kc, so we'd have to look for D in that regard. And final question here, we're asked what the equilibrium constant would be for the situation we have above that equation there. Now, we haven't been given any values, so we can't actually calculate it, but we don't need to. If we look at A through D, our answers, we then see, okay, we've got the same answer twice, but then the units are different. Okay, so A and C and B and D. Now, one important part of this question, it tells us is that the equilibrium lies to the right-hand side. That's the key part of that question to underline as you're going through it. Now, because the equilibrium lies to the right-hand side, that means that Kc is going to be greater than 1. Again, if you didn't know that, then you're going to struggle a little bit on this question. So if that's the case, then Kc is, either, is going to have to be either B or D. Because A and C are less than 1, because it's to the minus 3. So it's either going to be B or D. Now, it then just comes down to the units. Which way around is it? Which one's positive, which one's negative? Well, just to give a very quick explanation as to why the answer is D, is because we'd have our products would be at the top and our reactants would be on the bottom. And then we'd write out the units, moles to the dm minus 3. That's what the units would be for each of these. Now, the two lots of units for water would cancel out with the two units for NO, for nitrogen monoxide. Then what would happen is we'd cancel out the nitrogen's units on the top, but then just one lot of units for the hydrogen that's on the bottom. So we'd have one divided by mole to the dm minus three. But we don't have units as one divided by mole to the dm minus three. We'd take that and we'd flip it. So therefore it'd become mole to the minus one dm to the three. We would change those signs. But we tend to write the positive units first, so therefore it's dm to the 3 mole to the minus 1. Okay, so hopefully that all makes sense. Very quick explanation as to why those units are the way they are. But that will do us for today with questions on KC. See you next time.